Well, he is called the machine gun preacher. His mission, save children in Sudan. The guy from Dateline NBC said, are you this guy that people call machine gun preacher? Because that's what the, it, the villagers gave me the name, machine gun preacher. So I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a phone call from a lady in Hollywood. She said, Sam, she says, I want to tell you right now. She said, your life is a Hollywood movie. So I started hunting at seven, eight years old. You know, I was shooting squirrels and, and rabbits and everything. And I was raised up in a family in the mountains of Pennsylvania. My dad was a Marine. So on a Sunday after church, we'd go out by the barn and we'd spend hours and hours, sometimes all afternoon into the evening, just shooting guns as a family. While I was on that mission trip, we were in South Sudan and there was a lot of fighting and war going on. And I heard that there was a village not far from us that was raided. And I've always been the kind of person, I gotta go see it. So I went out and I come across the body of a small child and in the movie Machine Gun Preacher, it showed a child that was blowing up. It didn't happen like that. What happened, we went into a village that was already raided all the rebels were gone. It was the aftermath there. And I remember I walked over and I could see something laying in the ground. So I walked over to it and here it was a small child and from the waist down was gone. And I remember walking around that child and I kept saying to myself, how can this happen in the world? During those times, there was no government, good rebels and bad rebels. There was no government in South Sudan. You only had one choice, pick up a gun, or I should say two choices, pick up a gun or go home. That's it, there was nothing else. So I chose to stand and fight for the children. In Africa alone, every two minutes, a child dies of malaria. We went deep into the bush. We'd go in land cruisers, go on cow pass, up to two hours, three hours, deep into the bush where there is no villages. All there is is mud huts. And sure enough, what did we find? Fresh graves everywhere. In four months time, we saved nearly 800 children, malaria alone. I'm talking children that were carried into us, children that came in on mats, children that were shaking with fever, children that was in convulsions, children that were dying that would have died if we wouldn't have brought the doctors and the medicine to them. Our feeding program is about 8,500 meals a day. Uh, a lot of people knows us for over a decade at drilling wells. I get a phone call or some people hunted me down and here it was the film director of Dateline NBC. They wanted to go into South Sudan to do this story on Joseph Kony. And one of the head of the, of the uh, rebel group said, well, look, we can't help you, but we know a preacher that can help you. And so Dateline NBC got a hold of me to be their guide and take him around. The guy from Dateline NBC said, are you this guy that people call machine gun preacher? Because that's what the, it, the villagers gave me the name, machine gun preacher. So I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, do you mind if we do a little bit of some interviews with you? And that's what exposed me to the world. And I didn't realize they'd done 30 minutes on Joseph Coney and 30 minutes on the preacher hunting Joseph Coney down. So they made it look like I was hunting him down. I never was hunting Joseph Coney. Joseph Coney was hunting me. I got a phone call from a lady in Hollywood she said, Sam, she says, I want to tell you right now. She said, your life is a Hollywood movie. She's the one that helped get the movie Machine Gun Preacher made. I was at a pre-Oscar party and uh, uh, Brad Pitt was there. George Cloney, when I come in the door, I rode up on my motorcycle out front and security just come running over. They said, this is a private event, a private event. You can't get in here unless your name's on the list. I said, I think my name might be on the list. And they said, what's your name? I said, Machine Gun Preacher. And the guy looks at his buddy, he says, his name's on the list. <laughs> so they left me go into this uh, pre-Oscar uh, party or whatever it was called. And as soon as I walked in the front door, George Cloney hollered out, 
machine gun preacher. <laughs> and uh, so I walked right over to him because I mean, I felt out of place. You know, the only person that knew me there right away was George Cloney. My God is bigger than anyone else. You know, if you want to change a nation, first is Jesus Christ, then it's education. But it's then it's teaching people a skill and a trade. Right now, our organization, we work over 500 people a day. And I realize we are changing the nation.